Greetings, YouTube. Today's news item comes out of Cleveland, Texas, and I apologize if it seems that I've been picking on Texas lately. It's just a couple of news items that have caught my attention have been from that state. And this case involves an 11-year-old girl that was allegedly gang-raped by 18 men, ranging from 14 to 27. Now, that in and of itself is horrendous enough to make the news. But the worst part is is that the community of 8,000 has turned out to support the alleged rapists and has said that they put some of the blame on the survivor of this horrendous attack. Now part of this I believe is racially based. The 18 men in question are um, all African American they, uh, five of them are high school students, two of them are on the basketball team. So you've got a lot of things involved with the social connections and community here. And the, uh, the survivor of this attack is Hispanic. So you've got some, you know, things going on here that's beyond the actual attack itself. And some of the people have blamed the victim because of the way she dressed or that she lied about her age. Now, I don't care how you dress. That doesn't justify someone raping you. Um, I don't care if this 11 year old was buck naked and standing on the roof of a building screaming at the top of her lungs that she wanted to have sex with everyone in the town. She's 11. An 11 year old cannot consent to sex. Ever. The age of consent in Texas is 17. Now, there are situations where, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, who are in the 15 to 17 year old range, having consensual sex with each other, you could probably excuse that without even thinking. But when someone's 11 and the, their rapers, the rapists in this case, the alleged rapists, are as old as 27, that's twice and plus the victim's age. Um, it's a much different matter. And the whole concept that this community would turn out to blame the victim is morally repugnant. Now, I understand the mechanism going on here. In a town that small, everybody knows everybody. And it's, it's heart-wrenching to think that people of your intimate community could commit such a horrible act. You don't want to think about it. You want to shield your mind from the very thought. And so you will come up with any kind of excuse you can think of to justify the thought that, no, 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 no one in my town would do that. Well, it appears that someone in that town did. An 11-year-old can't grant consent. Not now. Not ever. And the thought that this girl is somehow, in any way, shape, or form, responsible for what happened to her makes me want to puke. Um, I'm hoping that with some distance and time that these people in this town will realize what the horrible thing they have done to this girl. She's probably going to have to leave this community. Never go back. Because how, how do you survive in that situation? How do you live in an environment of that few people you're going to know who this victim is, being shunned instead of supported by your community. I can't imagine it. I, I'm a survivor of sexual abuse, and I can't imagine being blamed for that. That, uh, that would set me back quite far when it came to depression and my ability to feel compassion for my fellow man. Yeah. So I'm hoping that citizens of Cleveland, Texas can come to grips with this, understand what they've done and what's happened in their community, and probably, hopefully, find some way of learning something from this, of maybe moving forward, of maybe healing this wound. But right now, it's an open, raw cavern in their culture.
their their community has been riven apart by this and it's going to be a really long time before it's ever going to get better.